Alright, welcome back. So, let's, just like I did with C++, now for C Sharp, let's just put everything together. So, for this guy, I made a new third person controller, and I made a little script, and I know my scripting naming conventions are garbage right now, but you get the idea. So, uh, for here, let's do a little bit of extra work. We're gonna take our character that we had a very good animation with and we're gonna add him here and that's gonna be our boy let's press edit just to make sure that he still has the animation states which are perfect everything works exactly fine perfect then step two we're gonna go right click create we're gonna go into physics and then click on object dummy now for object dummy we're gonna reset its position to zero 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 tab zero tab zero tab then we go into physics and we switch it to rigid now we're gonna make this guy and we're gonna add a capsule shape to it before just press add and we have our little capsule shape now in terms of its size I think it's better if I just put it as one so it's a little bit floating in the air now we go back to the physics tab and we can click and change a few of these things so for mass I'm gonna make it 25 and for radius I might thin it later on but first let's make the height now we don't know the difference until we switch this guy and reset his positions too all right and then we're gonna make it a child of that object dummy that we had as a physics we go back into the physics tab let's click on that shape capsule and now we set its radius to be thin so that he could fit inside it good enough good enough and now we're just gonna switch his height by clicking at its size and we could just drop this guy down until it hits his legs and that should be okay we are going to do one more thing and that's the angular scale so we're going to restrict its angular movement on the x and the y all right so with that done what else am i missing oh yes we're going to add a few things so let's just uh, right click one more thing create and we're going to add a node dummy and i'm just going to call it fall following object all right and for this guy we're going to reset its uh, position of x y and for z we're just going to make it a 1.5 i don't know it looks good enough to be down there and i think that should be it now for our main character or honestly even the object dummy it wouldn't matter so on the object dummy we're gonna add first is that physics controller so it just knows its speed we'll do five and max speed of 15 good enough and then we're gonna add our third person controller or our third person fix all right and if we go back here I have the old camera controller open we're gonna add just like a few more lines of code but we're gonna copy almost everything now, if you're in a very old or an experienced uh, programmer, you already know how to do inheritance, but just for the sake of you people, I am not going to do that. I'm gonna make the lazy copy paste version. Now, with that done, we're gonna add one more thing. We're gonna add a vector three C point, And we're gonna call that a new vector three. So we're also gonna add one more thing, and that's going to be a public node um, object rotate. Now the rotate object would be the object that we're gonna rotate around, and the follow object is gonna be the object that we look at probably gonna call it look at object but I think that should be good enough um, before we go to the other one let's just copy and paste this stuff too 
so just copy and for the update I'm pretty sure we're just gonna copy it again so just copy paste this now we don't need that I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna increase its size so all of you can read it properly so what are we gonna do well we're gonna leave most of this stuff because we're not gonna touch that over here we're gonna do a little bit of change so first thing we're gonna do is the point itself that I wanted rotating the object uh, following object that we had what I wanted to do is rotate around the character without moving its height and I want the camera to axis itself on that so what we're gonna do is a uh, custom or actually cell should be okay because we're following Actually, no, custom, yes, it should be custom. Because the following object would be the object that we follow, and the object itself would be the object we rotate around. Because I want the object to follow around, uh, to move around this guy, and we follow him, or look at him, and follow him at the same time. And the object that we rotate around would be the object that we're gonna rotate around on. So we're gonna follow the object, but the thing that we're gonna rotate on is the character itself and why we're doing that is so we can have a camera controller something like this like an actual third person game all right so enough explanation let's write some lines of code now the first things first we're going to change this since we did that we're going to do the object rotate so object rotate dot world position okay and that was our first change the other one i said was i did not want it to clamp between that so we're gonna copy this i'm gonna cut it off i'm just gonna write it here because we're gonna use that later and we're just gonna use the 1.5 that we added in the beginning now for this guy we're gonna make c point dot x i mean z control that so c point dot z equals to hide that that now for the c point dot z's x and y we're just gonna copy and paste this all right but we're gonna uh, change a bit so for the angle itself let's just add a 20 minus because we don't want the exact same angle. We want it as a difference between what the object itself is moving and what we are moving from. And for this, you have the option to keep the same radius or you have the option to increase the radius. Uh, for the C++ one, I increased it by two. For this one, I think I'll keep it the same. Now the reason why we increase and decrease the radius is when, let's say, when you have a gun and you're going to aim, you can decrease the radius so it comes closer and makes it look like you're focusing. And then once you leave it, it goes back up. So that's where this radius part comes in. So you could have something like this and then it's like times uh, aim offset or something, right? So that could be the thing, but we're not going to do that. Um, am I missing anything? Uh, yes. So, since we have this, now our main player, which is our camera, we're going to switch it to have the C point. But before we do that, we need to do this for the C point because we don't want it just rotating around the main object. We want it rotating around the moving object. So, C point, we're going to do this. Just control C, control V that. All right, so now it has the same object world position, which is perfect. And then what we're going to do is, let's see, let's see. We got the end point, we got the C point. No, I, I think that's it. No, it's not it because we initialized this point we didn't actually put it as the object so uh, object follow all right so object follow dot uh, world position now let's actually set it to the end point so now it's gonna be that point dot world 
good position. Oh, okay. Whoopsies. It's supposed to be dot or position equals to n point. And I think now I should be done. If it's not, then it's not, but I think that should be it. And just in case, I'm going to do a visualizer.render point 3D. And then inside here, we're going to choose the um, object follow dot get child. Because remember how I had the child and it was the first child, so get zero world position. And then it's a 0.01F. I want it pretty small, and then the color would be a vec four dot black. Let's just make it black, and that looks like should be the case. Now let's let it load. Alright, I think I fixed whatever problem was, probably something here. But we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna add that plus two just because it wasn't looking so well. I don't even know what's making that problem. And let's see. The object follow is the one that I'm looking at, which is correct. It's child's work position. Oh, that's why we don't even have the object but child. So, see, this is what you, this is why you don't mix your C++ and C sharp because now in the C++ I had a little child for this, but in this one I don't. So let's try it again. All right. Okay. So we have our boy. I guess the camera is a bit too far, so. Let's uh, remove that plus two again. And again, this is uh, trial and error. So in the end, it's 0.5 F. And I think that should perfectly do everything. If it doesn't, then... Uh, All right, I fixed the annoying little error and what I did was uh, I removed the the thing from the characters and I just put it in the camera and then in terms of code I kept the same things and basically yeah that's about it what I did was I added a plus two radius and I minus it by 20 degrees, so it trails it by under 20 degrees. And then the radius difference was so that if the object is here, let's say the object is to itself, or better off if I just draw it here. If the main character is here and the point is right here, you want the camera to be around here so that it looks at this and it looks at this. And if you were to draw a camera, it would be at an angle, which is exactly what we wanted. And that's perfect. So we have everything set up. Moment of truth would be before we even start was go to the physics. Uh, I'm gonna change the mass of the capsule and I'm gonna add some damping because we need some great damping right here. And then if we go back to guy, go to the node, the speed, I'm gonna make this into like three or something. And then the max speed is 15. And let's hope this works, fingers crossed. And we got our boy moving around. Uh, the anchor does not move, the camera moves instead. There's that little jitter and that's uh, something that I've talked about before. We can easily fix that later on. And let's just move. I guess three was a bit too 
slow, especially with the uh, what's it called? <laughs> Three is a bit too slow compared to the drag that I gave it. So just play around with stuff. I'm gonna make this into a five or something, and we'll check that out. Immediately you'll notice the camera aim is a little bit off, but that's because the camera itself is a little messed up, but that's okay. And we have our run. We didn't code the running part, but here's our movement. A little right turn. And we definitely need to fix this coding. But we got the main thing done, which is we got our little camera controller which moves around the character while we see the character to the side we got our little reticule which was because of this render point so now we have a little aim and now we have our thingy um it's a little finicky but without it, it it's pretty good so we got that going for some reason camera being dead is much better but anyways we got that going and we're done with that the next thing we're gonna do is let's say we had like a little object here and we wanted to pick it up we're gonna do that so what we learned from here is our uh, let's go back here and I moved uh, the where are we right here our maximum height and our minimum height this is the movement of the camera itself so let's say maximum heights up here the point is here we can look all the way here if our max was like let's say six we have the ability to look all the way to our floor and then if the minimum height is like let's say minus two it's gonna clip but we can look up into the sky and you can use a little code which says that the more the number goes down so if the height if the height over here goes down we could get the camera closer to the character but anyways that's it for our code i took a bit too long for this uh, next episode is going to be world intersection so let's see if we're looking at like like a box or like a gun on the floor we can pick it up by pressing e so that's going to be our next episode until then i'll see you guys later goodbye